my total Costco order was. Uh, ah! Oh my goodness. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Nelson's today holy cow you can imagine with 16 kids life gets crazy when it comes to food right and to grocery shopping and all of that I remember me and Benji used to literally be walking through the aisles with four grocery carts and we would always get like 10 to 12 comments people so I guess you're having a party wow I want to come to your party Whoa. like and we're like we're not having a party it's just our kids but anyway nowadays people like order it in I order it to come to my door because it's just so much less work for me it saves me a ton of time. I'm grateful for the people that deliver it and give them a tip. And then I feel like I'm also contributing to that person in their job. Anyway, I don't feel guilty about getting it delivered. Let's just say that. So yesterday I went online and I made a huge order on Costco. I normally don't do quite that much at one time, but I wanted to kind of show you guys what I would order that would generally last about three months. So my total Costco order was $4,055, I believe. And then I went on to Walmart and ordered some of the other things I don't need huge, huge amounts of, but that I need for different meals and different recipes. And so also in this order, I kind of re-upped some of my medications that I need, some toiletries, things like that. Um, let me go down and show you kind of my main storage room where I put a lot of my groceries and so forth and at least my shelf stable items and then when we get the order I will show you my huge haul. On my main floor I have a storage room. I multi-purpose this room. You guys have seen it a thousand times because it's usually a disaster and it might be a disaster right now. I haven't actually looked at it yet for the last couple days so let's see. Uh, ah, okay it is a little bit of a disaster. <laughs> Looks like somebody was um, trying to get something to wrap something here. And then we have this left over from Delaney's birthday. Um, we like to repurpose these. A lot of times we'll, you know, ask our neighbors and friends if they have a party or something to use us for. But they've been here for a couple weeks, so I probably just need to get rid of those. So I went through my cupboards. There is a lot of just disorder and just kind of chaos happening. I'm trying to like start kind of sectioning off like the expiration dates because guys have not done the best when it comes to like rotating. I know people have like these amazing systems and you would think by now I would have an amazing system, but I have craziness going on all the time. And sometimes I'm just like hanging on by the skin of my teeth and I need to go through all of this. I are about ready to expire. I need to kind of move to the kitchen so that they're not being stored and forgotten about here and then get this all cleaned out and get ready for my big arrival of my grocery haul. a lot of disorder in this room like there was literally pillowcases in with my wrapping stuff not sure but guys time to focus I have groceries coming a lot of groceries so I'm going to put these away and not feel stressed and not have anxiety right now that I'm putting pillowcases in with my wrapping stuff because I don't have time to like organize every cupboard I just have to focus on food today the other cupboards the craft section of my room right here I'm gonna have to work on another day but it's okay. Don't worry, all you people that were really stressed out and have anxiety by seeing me put away and shove things, by the time you watch my next video, you are gonna see the inside of all these cupboards and they are gonna be beautiful and we're all gonna be happy in our hearts that Not Enough Nelson's is organized again. All right, in a second, they're gonna have groceries come in and the kids will help me bring them in and I'll show you the haul. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Becky, look at, at those her groceries. <laughs>
got like half of it. <laughs> the cold items over here because uh, I need to get them put away. We've got a few vegetables, some fruit, some frozen vegetables, fresh carrots, fresh cucumbers, raspberries, grapes, love their grapes, tempura shrimp, pot stickers, avocados, of course, because who doesn't love avocados? Back here we have our sweet peppers that we always eat, and you guys always see that during our lunch videos. I have some fresh mozzarella. Ooh, look how yummy. Yummy! These kind of items, they're probably gonna last our family maybe like the month because a lot of them, I just don't like to totally pack our freezers to where we can't even like manage it, that it's just like stuff's at the bottom forever. I have made the mistake before of like packing it from bottom to top and by the time we got down to the bottom, it was just like everything was kind of freezer work. So we don't do that anymore. So these are some garlic butter shrimp, some beef taquitos, of course our wild coyote ranch. You guys see that in a lot of our videos. We love that kind of ranch. Butter, Velveeta, lactose free milk, Greek yogurt, we've got some yummy cheese, and we're to our meat products. We just like ground turkey at our house, like so we don't really do ground beef, we do ground turkey. Pork chops under here, a roast, um, we have some sausage. So this will probably last us, like I said, three or four weeks, and then we'll have to order in some more kind of frozen goods. Going down here, we have some more frozen vegetables. We have our eggs, jumbo corn dogs, Uncrustables, bagel bites, because who doesn't love a good bagel bite? We love the Healthy Choice Fudge Bars, and so we get those every time, and we get dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets. They're delicious. I don't know if you guys have ever tried these. These are dairy-free tropical twist frozen dessert bars. They are really yummy, and they're dairy-free if your tummy kind of bothers you with dairy, like some of my kiddos do. And then these Ossier bowls are delicious. And then dinner rolls, we love these. We make those into like scones on Sunday mornings. You've seen us do that in a bunch of our videos too. And so we love those for dinner rolls and scones. I love these. Have you guys ever tried these? They are so good for like a quick pick me up when the kids get home from school or when they're out the door to like a game or something. It has cheese and little tiny crackers and it's actually quite delicious. So a lot of us love those. So we get a bunch of those. Then we got our frozen berries. We like to make smoothies. The kids love to do a smoothie in the morning for breakfast. Down smoothie yogurt and then some Chobani yogurt which is so yummy. I love that Greek yogurt. We have a ton of water and we definitely go through this much. It probably lasts us about a month. One thing that I really like to do with water is it sounds kind of funny but I will put like one or two of these underneath the kids' beds and it's really nice because then when they're thirsty at night or whatever they can just grab it also, it's like a good way for your water storage to be distributed evenly throughout the house. And so if there was, you know, an accident in a room or something, you would have like your water storage throughout the house. So it's just better to have it in lots of different places. So we like to put them under the beds. Okay, on to the next area. All right, over to this section. Now what's holding up this tower is toilet paper and paper towels. I feel like this will at least last us like a month to six weeks. And I always like to keep a month to six weeks on hand ever since you know when, when all of a sudden we couldn't find toilet paper in the stores anymore. <laughs> I try to keep at least six weeks on hand. We have our cutlery. This is for like parties and get togethers. And then we have some paper plates and paper products again for parties and get togethers. You can imagine with as many birthdays as we have and everything else that so we have a lot of get togethers and parties. So I have that as a backup. I have parchment paper, plastic wrap. I have tin foil. I've got all of our Ziploc bags, which is awesome. Then I go over to a little bit of a cleaning backup section here. So I got our Jet Dry, our Comet. I have tons of Lysol spray. I really liked the smell of that lately. It's just super clean to me. And it's like tough enough that it actually gets the grime off of things. And so I've been using that a lot lately. And then Tide to Go. Okay guys, I use these a ton. And you guys have seen these like in our emergency kit videos and so forth. I just have newly stumbled onto this because I was literally cleaning off something off my shirt in the bathroom at Disneyland and some cute lady handed me one of these and she's like, this will really help. And I was like, uh, okay. And so I used it and it totally got out like red raspberry off of my white shirt. Bravo! And I've got our dish soap. 
I've got our facial tissue, a couple of those. This one has lotion for when you have a cold and your nose is starting to get irritated. Um, I realized I didn't have flashlights the other day because the power was off for just like an hour and I only had one flashlight. We were trying to pass it around. Yeah, that doesn't work. So I got a bunch of flashlights. I'm gonna put these in a specific section for emergency. This isn't just for everyday use because it's so fun for the kids to play with these, you know, the little boys, but then they just get spread all over and I never find them. So emergency kit of flashlights. And then we've got all of the backup batteries. I love to have at least one pack on hand all times. Also for emergencies and the Q-tips, of course. Okay, we are on to one of my favorite items ever. I have newly discovered these. This last year, as I've been doing our lunchbox videos that you guys see for back to school, we have these rice bowls that are already in the bowl with a little lid on top, and it's so easy for the kids. Like, even Beckham can make his rice. So he just pulls the top off, pokes it in the microwave, and it comes out, and it's super yummy. I love these, and I have these on hand a ton, and the kids have loved them for after school snacks. And it's just a little bit healthier choice than some of the other snacks that we have. So highly suggest those. All right, on to my whole craft table that's filled up here. So I did a bunch of pasta. Pasta is like loved by our family, but I have learned a lesson, people. Do not get pasta if you're doing like a supply of it that will take you a little while to eat in like the boxes because weevils can get in those. Hello, I didn't know that, but I had some pasta that I was rotating and it had been about a year and suddenly all of that stuff that had been about a year old that I was bringing forward started having weevils in it. So I always get the plastic wrapped pasta for my family. So we have small shells, elbow roni, rotini, and then of course normal spaghetti. And oh, this spaghetti is heavy. You would not think that this little thing of spaghetti is heavy, but it is heavy. It is um, organic and we, we actually really like this one. We also really like American Beauty. Um, spaghetti as well. So this is from Walmart, this is from Costco. If you've ever seen one of my videos where I make spaghetti, my kids love my spaghetti and this is like the magic secret, it's pretty easy. Just McCormick Thick and Zesty Spaghetti. So I put a packet of this in. I sprinkle in a little bit of sugar and brown sugar. This is how yummy people. So anyway, use this. So I have a whole supply of that. And then of course we've got like the fettuccine noodles, the angel hair pasta, the dittolini, my kids are crazy and love dittolini with literally just V8 juice. I know it's weird, I grew up on it. It's delicious to me, but you'll have to try it sometime about it. So I have some more of the little rice that you cook, like I talked about in the microwave. Love those, and then behind it is all of my canned meat. So if you look over the top of here, I have a bunch of chicken, canned chicken for chicken salad, love that. And then our tuna, we like the white tuna that's in water. We have rice aroni. I know it's a San Francisco treat and I don't live in San Francisco, but we love it. It's a quick go-to, especially if like Lily or one of the teenagers has to help me make dinner. It's just super fast and they pretty much can't mess up on it and it's delicious. And then we have a little bit of a treat section here, people. This we actually have for breakfast a lot. This is our favorite blueberry muffin. They're so good and you just it's super easy and this box is like 98 cents or something. And the kids love them. There's nothing like waking up to the smell of blueberry muffins cooking, I'm telling you, nothing. Then all of the cakes. You're probably like, what the heck do you have to have so many cakes for? I think I literally have like 14 of them. Well, because I have 16 kids and they have a lot of birthdays and we have the cute cakes on their birthday, but a lot of times those are for like their parties with their friends. So these are just fun on like a Sunday to make them a cute little cake or if someone's filling down, it's just fun to have a little cake for dinner. It just kind of lifts your spirit. We get a bunch of cakes. I love those. And then we have our ketchup, which I don't know about you guys, but my kids like go through ketchup like it's water, people. I don't know what's in this stuff, but ketchup is delicious to my kids. So I have a bunch of that. And then hello, nurse. Hello, nurse. Macaroni and cheese. I have a tower because we will literally eat that and probably, I mean, three to five months maybe, but we eat it a lot. The kids love it. Next we have our Fiji water, popcorn, and then these two things, I love these. These are kind of some new finds that I have found at Costco just recently. So this one is called Crunchy Rollers, and it's kind of like an organic puffed brown rice, like rolled up, and it's, it's sweet, but it's not like overly sweet. You can see that. My kids will grab it like if they just need a quick, even like a quick breakfast, like this morning, even Elsie, she's like, I didn't really feel like I got full. And so she just grabbed one of these as she ran out the door. And so I have loved these. And then this is called Banana Walnut Mini Loaf. These are so yummy. They're like a teeny tiny banana bread loaf. And they're just like the perfect size, like a serving and they're super moist and yeah. 
There we go, people. This is a thermometer and it's not even in here on accident. We thought it would be really funny if the kids came in here, they could like pretend like they're shopping in this grocery store, you know, and like grab it and bring it and put it away in the kitchen. I don't know, anything to help, you know, make kids motivated. All right, now the section below the table is pretty simple. I've got some more soups, cream of chicken soup, like those kind of staples that you like to cook with. I've got Nesquik chocolate milk. And so this is gonna be a new thing. We haven't really had this before. I'm trying to get Beckham to have a few more calories in his diet because he's like one of those take a few bites and run out the door type guys. We have some triple chocolate, Ghirardelli brownies people. Who doesn't love these brownies? And then Trail Mix, love these. They're super yummy and just a good go-to for a snack. And then, yes, I have four big bags full of pancakes, people. I guess, evidently, I make the very best pancakes that the whole world has to offer. Sorry, people out there. I took the title, my kids gave it to me. You guys, all you have to do is turn the oil up so it's really warm, so when you put the batter inside, it just automatically starts crisping and you wait till it's got the crispy little edge and turn it over. So I have made a ton of pancakes and this is probably how much I go through in a year. Then we got potatoes. We got two big jumbo packs. This will probably only last us a couple weeks. Moving on to Sunny D. I swore off Sunny D back when I was like 18 and found out that they really don't have a lot of nutrients in them. But my kids have discovered them lately and especially for soccer games and stuff when they need a really quick like sugar rush. And then dog food, super yummy dog food, blue. And we got that from Costco. That's pretty big and it's a pretty good deal on their dog foods. Then last but not least is chicken broth. We make all kinds of soups at our house and it's a good staple to have. All right, now on on to a fun section. This section right here I'm about to show you literally it takes up, I don't even know, like a fifth of the room, but it probably costs as much as everything else in the room because we are talking about like medications, you know, like shampoos, toothpaste, cleaning supplies, like that kind of stuff adds up really fast. But I love to have a supply, like it just makes my heart feel so good. Like one of my kids are sick or something and it's deep in the night, there's nothing worse than like we don't have any medication or like hightailing it to the store to get some medicine in the night, right? Don't let it freak you out that I have so much medication. This will last us at least a year until they expire. So we have Advil first and then we have Vapor Rub. I love this for when the kids have a cold. It's just really comforting to have rubbed on their chest and there's something really like, I don't know, therapeutic about the smells and so forth. So we love vapor rub. Um, and then we have some panty liners, some tampons, some allergy medication, children's Benadryl for the younger kids. We have another thermometer and we have the hydrocortisone cream. It's like an anti-itch cream, infant's Tylenol and Motrin drops. I love the infant still because Ledger is still small enough that he can do infants and it's just a lot more concentrated and so it's not very much that he has to swallow. He does not take medicine well. Neosporin comes in so great for like little cuts and scrapes to put underneath the band-aid. We have Zyrtec. I found that that's just really good for like when you have those outdoor allergies, like if you've been camping or whatever, so I'll bring this with us when we go on camping trips and things like that. Then BioFreeze, this is so awesome. It just rolls right on your muscles and kind of like makes them super cold. And I have gloves, um, I usually use those for cleaning. I love these daily probiotics. Um, they're kind of like a little gummy and so like the teenagers and stuff, they've liked having those. Um, and then we have Aleve. I don't use Aleve a ton, but um, I heard recently from a few uncles that it works well for them and it lasts all day and doesn't hurt their tummy. So I thought we could just try this um, for Benji and I. Down here we have CeraVe Vitamin C. We've got the Saline Nasal Mist, which is really good for like the little kids when their nose gets really super goopy. You just spray that up there and it helps it. Okay, so I have to tell you, especially you young moms out there or moms that have young babies. One of my kiddos, they won't say who because I don't want to embarrass them, but they had rashes all the time when they were little. Their little bottoms were always just so easily rashed even like they would be in a diaper for like two seconds and could get a rash so I had an amazing doctor tell me you put athlete's foot cream on then you put on vaxitracin and then over the top of that you put your normal diaper rash ointment and what I did is I would use this one time and then the next time I would use this and you just overlap over and over again and literally within 24 hours the most stubborn rashes would be gone so 
Just a little suggestion to try, especially for young moms. Ear re pain relieving drops, which are awesome. Band-aids, Yasex, because who likes to be bloated? Burn gel, backup of a couple toothbrushes, dry shampoo, OxyClean. I have a ton of OxyClean because it is like a go-to in almost every load of laundry for me. I have the Tide Pods back here. We have Cetaphil, and then the Downy April Fresh. These are like the little scent beads that you throw in. Make sure if you get these that you explain to all of your teenagers that they do not go in the dryer. They are supposed to go in the washer and they get wet and they turn into kind of like a liquid that helps them have like a, a fabric softener on them. But they are not meant to go in the dryer. We got shampoo and conditioner galore people. We have shavers, which you can never have enough shavers when you have as many girls as I do. Dove soap, we love Dove soap because it kind of keeps moisture in your skin. So I always love that. And then kitchen bags. Whew. Okay, I think we are about halfway done. One more section. These are all like really shelf stable items that are just good to have. So for the most part, my kids eat pancakes for breakfast or blueberry muffins or oatmeal, but the go-to of just cold cereal, sometimes it just hits the spot, super yummy. So we have Honey Nut Cheerios, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Do you guys remember Captain Crunch? It's delicious, leaves a little bit of coating along the roof of your mouth, but it's almost worth it. Then we got this, baking soda. There is like a hundred uses for this. There's proof because it even says on the front of it. But literally you can use it for laundry, of course, for baking, for freshening things up, even for your teeth. I had a friend with bright white teeth in middle school. She literally used to just brush her teeth with baking soda. Okay, this literally is the yummiest thing ever. If you've not tried this from Costco, mwah, it is like, Deliciousness goodness. I love that. I love to sprinkle that on top of my yogurt. Ugh, so good. Then we got Frosted Flakes. This is Benji's comfort food. And honey bunches of oats, fruit snacks, Rice Krispie treats. And we have the little things of chips, which is super good for after school snacks. We have syrup. And I like this kind because it doesn't have high fructose corn syrup in it. I read about high fructose corn syrup and it actually makes your brain, like tricks your brain into thinking you're hungry when you're not. Obviously virgin olive oil, love that. We've got our garlic salts, our salts, our peppers, our tahini, our soy sauce, our Worcestershire sauce. I probably said that wrong. How do you say it? Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire? Anyway, you tell me in the comment below how you say it. Then we've got some rice. Popcorners, you guys see that back there? Oh, popcorners are super yummy. Dried mangoes, M&Ms. Who doesn't love M&Ms? We have boom chicka pop. And I've got all of these um, diced tomato, tomato sauce, tomato paste. This is how we make our spaghetti. And I've got our chips. We've got our tortilla chips, our vessels. Got some more little scoops up here. Again, this will last us maybe a couple weeks. Nutella, Takis, of course, Wheat Thins, Cheez-Its, Velveeta, we love these Nature Valley bars, more fruit snacks, chocolate, because who doesn't like chocolate, pistachios, these Panda chocolate snacks. I'm not really sure about these. I don't get them every time, but let's, Mr. B loves them, and again, trying to encourage him to eat any time that I can. These little bites are like little teeny tiny muffins. Evaporated milk, good staple to have when cooking. Chocolate covered almonds, because every mom needs a break, and dad. And so we usually hide these in our side table, right by my thermometer, it will be my chocolate covered almonds. And then we got apples, sugar, flour, prime, because we got prime, boys. We got prime. Teeny pop, because I need all the help I can get. And more green chicken pop. Woo, I'm like ready to take a nap now or eat dinner. I can't decide which one I wanna do. But in the next video, you guys are gonna see me put all of this away and organize it on my cabinets and have like the rotating system designed and the lists and all the funness. But for right now, I gotta get to work. All right guys, see you in the next video. Love you all, bye-bye.